Good morning, everybody. April is here. There's even sunshine today. And I guess this is a very interesting week because Easter, Passover, and Ramadan, I was told when I saw it on TV, is all together this year, which is very rare. So we don't really care what your religion is, what you are doing. We just want to eat, which is what Gabby does. And Gabby is lucky enough to have some wonderful friends in the business. Today, John Hinman of Hinman Pies, who without him, my friends and I wouldn't survive. Oh, well, it's become a compulsion. And Liz Gonzalez, who I have, it says Gonzalez Lara. I only got one name. Um, Dos Amigas. I have not met you in person, but I have had the wonderful experience of having some of your goodies. And I'm going to basically have John start it with Hinman. Liz, you're going to get in and talk about those Amigas. And the two of you, because I know now, but I'm too confused. I'm going to let you explain the whole thing. Good morning to both of you. Good morning, Pat. Thank, Thank you. Love and adore seeing you. And we're putting a truck up in front of my house for him. And it's, <laughs> it's wonderful to finally see a face. Your things are incredible. Okay, John, this all happened because of you. Okay. And I live on your pies, savory and sweet, and you introduced me to Dos Amigo Pies. You decide how you're taking it. It's the John show? Is that what you're telling me right now? John show. Except you have to tell him about Key Lime Pie, too. Okay. Well, your, um, your pickup guy is here right now. Oi. Stuff. He just walked in. So... Um, I like what you said about this weekend, and it goes along with our motto that's on top of our tent at the market that says, pie for all, all for pie. So I'm really happy that this weekend is everybody. You know, I'm a big guy for everybody. And um, on that note, spring is here, and we're releasing our key lime pies this weekend. So you can order them online at himandpie.com. You can get them at Lever's Locavore. I'll be at the uh, Longmont and Boulder Farmers Markets on Saturday this weekend where they'll be available. So you could still get them for Easter. Yep, there's still time to get them for the, the weekend of joy, I'm going to call it. And then um, what else do we have going on? The key lime pies, the markets. And then I'd love to introduce you guys all to uh, Liz. Gonzalez from Dos Amigas. And we are so excited. Dos Amigas is this awesome company that we found. And um, she currently sells our, our um, pork green chili pie. And she has a whole line of moles and tingas and all sorts of authentic Mexican food that I love. And we decided to get together and we're using some of her moles and tingas and Anaheim's and cheeses and putting them into our pies. And then um, Liz is gonna sell them exclusively on her website, dosamigas.com, where you'll be able to get them. And I'm gonna pick one pie a week and bring it to the farmer's markets to help promote that. So it's a random shot from me of these new delicious pies, but you can always get them from uh, Liz at dosamigas.com. And um, okay. if you wanna- Liz. Let's say hi to you, but I have one question before we do. Liz, you'll be able to answer this, I think. If one, the new pies, is my guy making you crazy there? Tell him to be quiet. Uh, I, <laughs> can you, I know the pies I have had are all the empanadas. Best things I have ever had, really. I mean, everybody's now buying them blind because they take my word for it and my friends. But you're not doing 
nine inch pies or things if you ordered through you, are you? Correct. First of all, thank you for having me, Gabby. Very nice oh. meeting you and your audience. <laughs> thank and you and thank John for introducing us to you. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm very excited to be here and tell you more about Dos Amigas and the collaboration with Hinman Pais. Um, We started selling his poor chili pies, which are amazing. If someone has not tried them, you can find them on his website or at dosamigas.com. They're in my freezer. Amazing. <laughs> and um, we also have an amazing new item, the empanadas with, it's a trio. People can order the, one order comes with one chicken tinga, one chicken mole, and one Anaheim cheese and corn. And that and is- guys, worth it. I, it's just I don't mean to interrupt. We had a fight over who was getting which one. We all had some of each, and there was nothing left. Keep going, keep going. No, they are amazing. I, as a Mexican lady here, mom, I we of course add a little salsa, which you can also find on our website. We have five different salsas. And my favorite is the roasted green tomatillo salsa to go with the any Ooh. savory empanadas. I we like adding a, a little bit of spice. Um, but yeah, we could not be more excited and happy for having met John and now you and having this amazing new the newest item in our website and and okay. you can also it on his farmer's market okay your website is dosamigas.com correct and you and your partner literally put all this together tell us a little bit of the history of dos amigas and what they can find there i mean what i can find too no, we started in 2020 when i, I am in the wedding industry which I'm still doing that, but in 2020, all the events. I'm not getting married, sorry. <laughs> She'll make but, it up. Unless John wants to. Erica has been in the food industry for years, and it was um, a, a good time for us to offer this contactless delivery of delicious Mexican food to your doorstep when restaurants were closed and people were tired of cooking at home. Um, and we decided to source the best and most authentic recipes. Um, she started with her mom making them back in the 80s, in early 80s, making the chicken tinga, the chicken mole, um, the recipes, and now it's turned into a bigger, bigger business. And, and we source it from family in Texas and in Mexico. And then here in Colorado, we have found local vendors as John Hinman making the special specialty items that we are proud to be able to deliver to families in, in Denver and surrounding areas. We go to Boulder and Castle Rock and Longmont. You deliver. Correct. Every Wednesday, our customers can place an order any day of the week. And then the following Wednesday, we go and deliver all over again from Golden to Aurora to Littleton to Arvada, okay, anywhere now, in between. Tell me, I know I can get John Hinman pies, the empanadas of the three flavors that are amazing. What else, if I go to your website, what other options of foods? I mean, I love to have something delivered. I can be a hostess if I have delivery. Oh, it's been amazing for parties, for what? busy. Yeah, the best sellers are the chicken pozole verde, verde, the carnitas. It's um, everything is delivered frozen in one pound packages. Okay. Old a la carte. We have a few kits or packs that you, you can order the taco Tuesday and it comes with chicken tinga with 
uh, fajitas, black beans, tortillas, and salsa, so that you and have frozen it. too. Correct. Everything is delivered frozen, which makes it very convenient because our customers can put it in the freezer and then on the weekend or whenever they are craving delicious Mexican food, they pull it out and you can thaw it or... You or, tell how to heat like a taco. Yes. We I didn't know that you could reheat a taco. Well, it is. Um, it'll be delivered a la carte and then when you're ready to eat it okay. you eat it and you put it together okay yeah. <laughs> that makes sense yeah and, and then... the corn tortillas the flour tortillas are handmade in denver colorado every morning they are the best tortillas we found um and same with the empanadas um i know at hinman you will find them as hand pies mm -hmm. and we are calling them empanadas at Dos Amigas. That doesn't matter. It's all the same. I know. It's like a Mexican wedding cookie, a Russian Christmas cookie, uh, a Danish, whatever. It's all the same. Just different ingredients. <laughs> you know? It's just got a different name for the same thing. Yep. It's all butter, flour, and sugar. <laughs> if it's with you, it's a lot of butter. <laughs> I'm a lot of butter. Uh -huh. you're, you're a bit of butter guy. Uh, and so... You and did I hear you have even things like burritos? Yes, we also have found um from another from a Jewish man, um Michael Fox is making the best breakfast burritos in town. <laughs> Michael, if you're listening, thank you. We they are I'm hysterical. <laughs> By the time this ends, I don't know what's coming next. <laughs> <laughs> they they're really good. They have been popular. Um, bacon burritos, chicken chorizo, amazing. Nice um, Jewish boy is using a lot of pork. <laughs> yeah, good, yeah, good for him. <laughs> okay, so if I'm craving fresh Mexican food, I can. You're the place to go. To. Like if I want a pie, I adore pies. If it isn't John Hinman, I am going. So I think this is wonderful. I don't know how you found each other, John. We found each other via um, our friend Beth Hawkins, who uh, is a, a food. What is she? She makes a food stylist, uh, and uh, a, a longtime friend of mine. And then um, Liz had her do some work for her, and then. Uh, Beth called me up and said, you got to meet these awesome women. And that's how we got together. Yeah. A food good. stylist. Good for you. And good for you for be well, I mean, looking for things to expand to. I mean, I understand more their idea, but you are this huge success as it is. And I think it's fabulous that you're still creating new things all the time. I yeah, agree. Thank you, John. Thank yeah. you, John, for, for listening to us. <laughs> yeah, and I and I think it's great. I mean, I always loved working with other people and seeing what they do as well, and and the opportunity of having a collaboration. Um, you know, it, it just broadens the the world and the perspective a little bit. You know, I love that this Jewish man making your burritos. Are you kidding that me? That's me. that's a riot, right? And um, and you know, we just all love so. Oh, why not? You know, so next door is going to have to have a Jewish burrito with. <laughs> oh, I that is it is wonderful. And I as you are just on the delivery yet. You don't go to farmers markets. I am planning to be at least at, at one of the farmers markets. I, I would love, I love people. I love connection. And um, I'll, I'll look at the calendar so John can tell your audience. And it, I would love to be there and meet everyone. And yes. I, I, well, maybe if we all get to the same one, if it's in Denver, preferably. Let's do it. <laughs> we can all have a party one day. Hey, we could have a party right there in Congress Park. Hey, yeah. Throw down a big pic picnic blanket and but it's invite everybody. It's Cheeseman, but we'll do it. Cheeseman, I'm sorry. I can get over to Congress. It's a block away. 
every time he comes, everybody's carrying on. What are those? What are those? So now we will have them every place. I am so excited for you, Liz. And I have tasted all three of the empanadas, handheld pies. There, I'm telling you, four of us fought. <laughs> it, it was really funny when four of us kept going back to find a scrap at least. And the sauces were wonderful. And they had great directions on how to defrost them. And they do stay in the refrigerator after they're defrosted. So. Yes, they are amazing. They, we use them here for breakfast with eggs. We add them to pizza, to tacos, burritos, and pretty much everything. <laughs> thank what? you. Thank you for, again for having me. And thank you again to John. And those amigos okay. come. <laughs> All right. Give the particulars of how people can get you. Yes. So it's www.dosamigas.com. Super simple. Re it, remember, people, it's female, amigas, not old. Yes. That's so people yes. know. Yeah. Two yes. young, beautiful, wonderful ladies. John, how do yes, we get Abby. to you? Aside from talking to you every day, because I love them, how do people get to you? Well, uh, the farmer's markets have started this summer already. I can't believe it. But uh, so Saturdays right now, we are at the Boulder and Longmont farmer's markets. Uh, Mid-May, the Old South Pearl Street farmer's market is going to start up. And that one's always a big blast in Denver. And then you can also pick up our pies at um, Lever's Locavore through Dos, or Dos Amigas. Um, I wrote it all down. Uh, Honey's Market is opening soon, so that'll be a good spot. And then always hiddenpie.com. Okay. I'm for all of them. You two are wonderful. I can't think of a better way to spend a holiday. And Liz, I'm thrilled to meet you. I told John knows I could just exist. I'm whatever he makes. And great people. John, you're one heck of a great guy, too. I appreciate that. For charity and you're a wonderful person and it's a pleasure to work with both of you and i hope everybody will like and subscribe to the gab g-a-b-b on youtube and you will see this there on facebook and instagram as soon as it's all downloaded a very hop, happy holiday to everyone no matter which you're celebrating make it a great one and I love you both and have a wonderful day. Thank, Thank you so much, Gabby. Gabby. Thank, Thank you, Gabby. You. Much love. Yeah.